I don't even know what to say, y'all. I honestly don't even know what to say. Don't know what to say. I just want to say what's up guys welcome to my youtube channel make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to my video i just want to make this video quick and fast about what's been going on i'm going to make a youtube video after this about um about my youtube but we're not going to talk about that right now we're going to talk about something about justice um it's one thing i'm saying it's one thing to be so fucking malicious out here in the world and how people can do somebody so cruel, like I'm just saying like so cruel. And I'm at a loss for words right now. And I'm, 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 I am. And if anybody doesn't know, like you should know by now, like yeah, I like guys, I like girls. Um, I'm in the gay scene, you know, and my thing is, it's, it's justice. We gotta get justice for Malaysia. And the reason why I say that is she's not the only person in the LGBTQ community. She's not the only trans girl that got killed this year. Not the only gay that got killed this year. Anybody inside of our community is like dying left and right from like cruel shit. I'm talking about like even the post that came up years ago. It came up actually again on my Facebook with the gay couple, it was the black gay couple, the male couple in Atlanta, Georgia where the father came in and threw hot water on both of them. And thank God they survived, but they got burns from it because of his son being gay and his son bringing his lover into the house and I'm really at a loss for words why people would just come out here and do so fucking cruel to our community. And not just our community, it's the black community at that. We want to do Black Lives Matter. We want to, we want to say us as a black community should stick together and you out here killing people. I'm on Facebook and like she's actually, she's one of my friends on Facebook and about a couple of weeks ago, it was, a, it was a fight that got put out with her. She got jumped by like three guys. And it was in her neighborhood. And they was like, because she was walking down the street and people recognized who she was and she was transgender, they want to end up fighting her. And apparently, last night, because this video that I'm putting out, I'm putting this out right here on time because this just came out yesterday on Facebook. She just died yesterday. I'm putting this out the next day, which is right now. And apparently she got into a car with somebody. And I don't know if it was the guys she got into a fight with a couple weeks ago, or it could have been somebody in the neighborhood, friends, setting her up. I have no idea. But apparently shot her and they threw her from a car. It's not the fact of her being transgender, it's the fact of treating a human being like that. You shoot them and throw them out the car to die and she died on the side of the street and my thing is this is just the fact of why bother with it especially these straight men these down low nasty ass men these undercover men that sit here and treat our community like shit and you be the one that's more gay than us I'm only putting this video out because we need justice for Malaysia. It's not just Malaysia. It's people that's a part of our community all around the world, even in the foreign countries. And justice needs to be served. And the one thing that's so sad is the fact that in foreign countries, there's not nothing going to be served right now. Because that's the religion they go by. That's the culture they go by. And it's sickening to me. So sickening. But it's not just my voice that needs to be heard. It's the fact of 
everybody's voice needs to be heard inside of this community. And then on top of that, the black gay men and women that supports this shit about killing the transgender, killing the gays, you fucking sick. You fucking sick. I support everybody. Straight, gay, transgender, black, white. I don't give a fuck what your race is, what you represent, Republican, Democrat. I don't care. You're a human being. And that's how the world should be. Your opinion is your opinion. But to treat somebody like that, it's shit, bro. And I'm putting this video out because it needs to be heard. It needs to be seen. That means if I put this on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, I don't care where I put this video at. This video needs to be shared. It needs to be heard. Justice for Malaysia. Justice for the transgender community. Justice for the gays. Justice for the white, black, Hispanic, Asian, cultural, race, whatever it might be. It needs to be heard. It needs to be seen. So I just want to make this video short guys and say you know what we got to we got to stand up for one another and that's what I'm doing I'm standing up for Malaysia I'm standing up for me I'm standing up for my brothers and sisters out here in the world who got to fight that's on the streets that's in nice homes but still get treated like shit by their husbands by their wives no matter what your sexuality is male or female we gotta make justice out here, guys. We do. But I want you guys to like this video, share this video, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and make sure we get justice out here in the world because ain't nothing gonna get straight if this keep going on with the killing. We gotta take life serious. We got to. So make sure you guys stand up for her. Because she's not here with us no more. But we will see her one day. Stand up for the people that's not in your lives no more. Because I guarantee you, there's a straight man out here who lost a brother. Who lost a sister. That was, in, that was a part of our gay community. And they're probably grieving. So, I'm grieving for her and her family. Rest in peace to Malaysia and um, we're going to have justice for you sis we're going to have justice for you